It would not be a lie to say that competition in the ever-evolving photography and videography industry is getting fiercer every day. In fact, given the innovations that have taken place in the last few years, innovations that took place in previous years can sometimes seem funny today. Today we're going to look at a player with a lot of potential for innovation on the Canon side. Yes, because the R5S model was in the news a while ago, but it's not much talked about now. Let's take a quick look at what Canon is going to do at this point. First of all, a few months ago, we entered the year 2024, and what can we expect from Canon this year? Canon releases three camera models every year, almost every year. If we look at 2023, we see three entry-level cameras, the R50, the R100, and the much-discussed EOS R8. If we look at 2024, we can almost guarantee only one camera at the moment, the R5 Mark II, which will arrive before the Summer Olympics. But which will be the other two models? Judging by the competition in the market and Canon's traditional strategy, we can expect another flagship other than the R5 II. Which brings us to today's topic, the Canon EOS R5S. First of all, let me say that the information in this video is based entirely on Canon's past strategic data. We prefer to speak with data rather than prophecy, and our regular followers are the ones who are one step ahead of the market both in 2023 and this year. If you are thinking about choosing a new camera in 2024, I invite you to subscribe. Rumors suggest that the imaging technology for the R5S, the next level up from the new R5, will be created from scratch. In this case, we could see a sensor close to 80 or 100 megapixels, which would be a very strategic approach to the market by Canon. We're talking about a flagship after all, and on the competitor side, the closest of the main competitors could be Fujifilm's GFX 100 series with 102 megapixels. So, what can we expect from the R5S on the power side? Early reports point to a full-frame CMO sensor, combined with the power of Canon's Digic X2S processor. With features like 8K video mode and 4K at 120 FPS, the R5S should become one of the most up-to-date competitors on the video side. Building on the foundation laid by its predecessors, the R5S looks set to inherit the acclaimed dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system seen in the Canon R3 and R6 II. This enables lightning-fast autofocus even in the most challenging shooting conditions, and ensures the camera remains highly efficient throughout long shoots. When it comes to design, we think we'll see something like the R5 with an intuitive design that photographers love. But of course, the fixes integrate seamlessly into your workflow, allowing you to focus on what's important. With a sensor to rival the Fujifilm GFX 100 series, Canon cements its place at the forefront of innovation. It's worth noting that Canon is sometimes unpredictable, both in terms of design and future moves. But as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, the competition in the market is growing, and Canon is surviving every time. On top of Canon's success, the flagships expected later this year will again work as support in the field and may even dominate the market. This is a testament to Canon's unwavering determination to push the boundaries of what is possible. Of course, Canon will welcome us with more cameras after the R5 Mark II as a first step. By the way, if you haven't watched the R5 Mark II video, we explained everything in detail in that video, from what features the new R5 will have to the release date. If you wish, you can take a look at it after this video. Thank you for watching the video, and don't forget to press the like button at the bottom of the video if you've watched this far. Take care, and happy shooting to all of you.